Hi everyone, my name is Namli. I'm from Cochlea Technologies, Bangalore. So today's recipe is View Storefront. So for those who don't know what is View Storefront, uh, it's an open source e-commerce e uh, PWA platform. Uh, so that will convert your now regular websites into a PWA app. So in this video, we're going to see how to use View Storefront along with uh, Mesinto. So let's get started now. Hi everyone, today we are going to see how to use View Storefront along with Magento. View Storefront is an open source PWA for e-commerce that is built using Vue.js. So it's a platform agnostic framework meaning if you have built your application using View Storefront as a front end and uh, Shopify as your back end. So at any point of the time you can change your back end to Magento or any other e-commerce without affecting your front end. Meaning your website looks the same only the data source that is being coming from will be different and it follows the headless architecture pattern and uh, it does comes out of the box with uh, PWA features. So like for example the offline support and offline order placing and etc. And the view storefront consists of uh, two repositories mainly one uh, view storefront and another one uh, view storefront api so these are used as, these are used as front end and back end respectively and uh, to, in this video we'll be cloning the view storefront repository the front end part and we'll install all the packages that are required and we'll set up some uh, configurations and to, in this video the main focus would be how to modify the view storefront uh, the default features based on our requirements okay so let's get started as you can see this is the official documentation of our view storefront we are looking into the uh, installation process on linux or mac os however if you want to install uh, on view storefront on a windows device there is a separate tutorial for that as well so we'll be following the user friendly installation meaning that we'll be connecting to our view storefront so demo backend instead of connecting to our uh, local instance of Magento. So any, anyway, we'll be, I'll be showing you how to connect to Magento's uh, backend in the next video and how to integrate it with view storefront as well. So for the demo purpose, we'll stick to this one. So before we proceed with installation, we need to make sure we have installed uh, Node.js and uh, Yarn package manager. If you want to run view storefront in a Docker container, you might have to install uh, Docker and um, the image magic is not uh, a compulsory uh, requirement. So let's start with the installation process. We'll be cloning the repository. So as you can see, this is the uh, official repository uh, view store of view storefront. And uh, once you have cloned the repository, you have to install the uh, node packages and then you have to run the command yarn installer so as soon as you run the yarn installer it will ask you a few questions it will ask whether you want to use uh, the demo backend as demo view storefront as a backend and we'll say yes so that's it so once that everything is done you can start our uh, view storefront server so before starting our view storefront server the current node version that uh, is being installed in my system is uh, 10 and the yarn package manager version is 1.17.3 so I have already cloned I have installed the packages so this would take some time installing the packages so that's why I have already installed it so I am not going to do that again so once the installation process is done so you have to run the command yarn dev so this will run uh, the view storefront server in a uh, development mode so once if you make any changes in the code it will automatically reload so while the development process is happening, while the uh, starting the server is taking place, we will take a look into the view storefront demo site. So this is the view storefront demo website. So this is how it looks once you have installed the view storefront in your local machine. So it comes with a good home page layout. You can modify based on your requirements. It has a card and a login pop-up pop -up model and then uh, it has a wishlist section and then it has a search. It does come with a hamburger menu which is very handy if you want to you don't have to create multiple times so let's go to some uh, listing page say for example we'll go to the hoodies and sweatshirts of uh, women so this is the sample sorry the default uh, listing page and you can customize here as well you can change the number of columns to four and you can even change the number of columns to six so based on your requirements you can modify the layouts 
as well and uh, it comes with uh, three default uh, sorting options as well so and uh, the filters also so we'll click on uh, some product so this is the product display page the default product display page which comes with the breadcrumbs as well and the product name and the SKU that is being displayed on the price and the color options so it has a size guide as well so once you click that one you can uh, show a CMS page of the size guide here and uh, had to had to favorite add to wish list and uh, had to compare is also been available in the product display page and uh, here you can see the product details and everything and uh, they do have a separate uh, a review module where you can integrate with Magento and this is the default uh, product display page layout so we'll add a product to cart so once we have added to the product to the cart you can see a message saying that it's been added to cart so now the product is there so with uh, two different sizes so we can uh, proceed to check out and uh, I'm not going to check out right now so you can place the order <coughs> as well without creating uh, an account also so that's it once you <coughs> install view storefront properly this is these are all the things that is available and uh, it does work with offline also so once you once you're offline you'll get a message saying you're offline obviously and uh, even if you refresh the page the entire page is still available and you can uh, view the products that you have already viewed so all the products whatever the, the details have been you have been used it will be cached so we'll go back online now we'll just refresh so that's it so let's check if this is installed yeah so so our view, our view storefront is running now so it is running in the port uh, 3000 localhost 3000 so if I just refresh this page So now we can see our um, the demo page. So now our view storefront is installed correctly. So in this video, what we are going to do is, so let's go to this category. I could not find any other uh, product with some special prices. So this one, just duffel bag. So this product has a special price and a price. So here, what we are going to do is, we are showing, we are going to show a discount percentage here below the price section and we are going to show the availability of the product below the product name whether the product is uh, in stock or out of stock okay so before we start doing this one let's take a look at the uh, folder structure of view storefront so this view storefront comes with uh, a main folder config so this config folder is responsible for uh, all the configurations that are related to view storefront so once you clone it uh, you won't be finding the local dot json file so it'll be uh, it'll be available with it'll be available with uh, the default dot json so this file local dot json this file will be used for all the configurations that is being uh, set uh, entered here so it does come with a lot of configurations options for example you can specify the host name and the port that view storefront needs to start and also then themes of themes which you want to use and also the product details that needs to be shown everything all the details the filters and the sorting options everything will be mentioned here so this is like a heart of the view storefront so all the configurations will be mentioned here and this folder core con contains all the uh, the core functionalities of the view storefront so you will be extending this whatever that is being uh, defined in our uh, custom themes so they do have a uh, one notable thing as modules so they have created separate modules for uh, based on the functionalities for so for example cart cart module contains all the cart related options so all the functionalities all the actions and uh, they do have a separate component called add to cart so once we extend this add to cart in any of our uh, custom component we can we can get all these functionalities this add to cart so this takes care of all the the business logic of add, adding to cart here so all we have to do is we just have to extend so we can modify based on our requirements so similarly they do have uh, another folder called pages so that uh, that has all the business logic related to that that page so for example uh, the all the methods and the functionalities 
of the product page is being mentioned here so you can just call these functions in your uh, theme and uh, you, you can make things work that's it so this is core and uh, the other files other folders are, uh, uh, are not required to explain in this video right now so next we'll see the source so in the source this is where we'll be working on so this module folder modules folder is where we'll be creating our uh, custom uh, modules say for example uh, they do come with uh, google analytics and tag manager and hotjar out of the box we don't have to create our uh, custom module to uh, implement it so all you so in case if you want to create your own custom module you can uh, create here in, not in the core folder so there is an option to extend the core module as well for example if you want to extend the cart functionality you can just do that in your uh, module here in your source module theme module so then we have another folder themes so in this themes i have already created one theme called uh, codilar so creating themes is easy so we'll be extending the default theme so how we do is we have to copy the uh, default folder and uh, paste it in the themes and uh, rename the folder for example i'll uh, copy this i'll paste it in the themes folder so we got our uh, new theme so we have to rename the theme so i mean rename the folder name i renamed the folder name to codilar so once you rename that folder to codilar and you have to change that in your packet.json so here you have to specify the name of the theme so in this case it will be codilar you have to specify that one and you can add all your uh, details like your the description and the author whatever once you have uh, done changing the name of the theme here you have to add in your config.json file so here you can find uh, a key called theme so here you have to specify the theme name so now currently it is the default so we just have to change to codilar sorry so now the current theme is codilar so once you have changed the theme sorry we have to install it again so you on install and uh, you have to run yarn dev so you have to do this one so this will take some time so i'll pause the video now and once this is done we'll resume the video so now we have created a theme i've deleted the default uh, whatever we copied so this is how you create themes in um, view storefront and yeah we have to install it again because uh, we need to uh, say to the view storefront that there is a new theme available and we have changed the configuration that's why we need to restart basically now in the pages section we can find the product product page so this is the product page so like i said we'll be do, doing some changes in the product page and uh, when you look into the other com other folders so they have some uh, certain folder called uh, components and uh, uh, there is there are two types two types of components one is the core and the theme so in the theme folder this is where you add your uh, design system so you can define your design system of your uh, website here you can uh, so for example they have created two components called button full and uh, button outline so you can reuse the same thing uh, in any of the components so the consistency will be there so when you're using a button the button will be same in uh, all the components and all the pages and they have some they have a certain folder called uh, css and uh, one more called uh, layout so in this CSS like uh, it does come with some helper functions like border layout margin and padding what this does is it will create some uh, classes so you can reuse it so this one will uh, get an idea once we start using in the components when we are creating something and they have a separate folder called variables all the color details have been uh, defined here and uh, they have a grid as well <coughs> so you can use the media queries as well so and that's it so in this is in the app.view this is the uh, entry point of our app so just like in the view.js so if you want to add any other uh, scripts or css in your header tag so the, in this section in this page is where you have to add app.js so where you can add your scripts and uh, css or any other components any other things in the head file 
let's go to product details page now so this is the product display page so we have to display the product discount percentage below the product price details so this is the price details of the product and we need to display the discount percentage right below it so we just have to create a div and uh, just have to calculate the discount percentage on display it. so to calculate the discount percentage i have created one uh, computed method here uh, it's called uh, discount percentage which will return a uh, discount percentage which is a floating point value so this will do the calculation of uh, getting the discount percentage and so let's move on to the product price section so now we'll be creating one div and uh, since like i said the computed method will be returning a floating point value so we don't want the discount percentage to have uh, 10 to 10 10 to 11 digits after the decimal point so we want to limit it so for that one we can do this so we can pass and we'll call the computed method here which will return the floating point value and uh, we'll use this to fix method to limit the number of digits after the decimal to two units once we got the discount percentage we can add the percentage symbol and then the text of or whatever you want and now we need to change the color of the discount percentage so for that one so you can find a folder called variables in uh, CSS inside your theme so if you open the colors variable you can find the variable color variables here so for now we'll be using this color so we'll be using we'll make the special price look a little bit of uh, red so they have given a variable name as uh, burnt sienna so i'll show you how to use the variable value in your uh, components so you have to create your class and if you want to change the color of the html element whatever you are uh, adding so you have to create uh, we have to add cl and uh, hyphen the name of the color variable so in this case the name of the color variable is burnt sienna so if you are adding a class with uh, cl hyphen the name of the color variable this entire div section will have a css property color with this value the value of the variable so that's it so once we are done with it if you save it it will uh, upload it the compilation starts and uh, once it is hot reload you can see the discount percentage in the product display page so now we got the discount percentage in the product display page so like this we can modify the default uh, product display page of view storefront based on our uh, requirements so in case if you want to show the uh, product availability uh, in the product display page we can do that also so if you check the computed method uh, it's, there is one uh, computed method called uh, structured data that will return the product stock availability in stock or out of stock so we can reuse the same thing to display whether the product is in stock or out of stock so as you can see in uh, here we can just copy this they are adding some uh, meta information we can just call the computed method dot availability that will return whether the product is in stock or out of stock we will show that one right after the product name so here we will again we will create one uh, container and say we will have call this so that's it so now if we go back to our uh, product page we should be able to see the product availability right below the product name so now we got it so this way we can uh, add more features to the view storefront based on our requirements so it's a uh, all these things were done without actually creating any without any without making any core functionality changes by just using the the data that is view storefront is providing for us in the product display page so in the next video we'll uh, add an notify button instead of add to cart if the product is out of stock and uh, we'll integrate with magento and we'll send a notification to the customer once the product is uh, is back in stock so that's it for uh, today's video. Thank you.